In western Ukraine, protests of soldiers, mothers and wives against sending their men to the war zone in Donbas are going on. On 15 July, two trucks with soldiers of the so-called Territorial Defense Battalion tried to drive out of a military unit in Ternopil. Relatives of the military men blocked the trucks, turned the trash bins and then began to throw themselves under the wheels and fight the cordon soldiers. The reluctance of mothers to let their sons die for legitimate Kyiv authorities is understandable given that the actual military situation in Donbas completely disagrees with the position of unit of operation officials. On the air of the national TV station 112, during the lifeline with one of the fighters of pro-Kyiv forces nearby Krasnopartizansk, it turned out that the Punishers had been retreating the fourth day already, and at that moment there were only 400 of them left out of 800. On the other front the situation for Kyiv is no better. On July 16, Kyiv's punishers were pushed back from Izvarina and Krasnodon by the People's Army. There is also information that the punitive detachments began to leave their position on the outskirts of the LPR capital Lugansk. Thus, their assault failed. Surrendering of pro-Kyiv forces fighters has become more frequent. Meanwhile, in Zhitomir armored vehicles plant, preserved machines turned out to be taken away bit by bit. The damage is estimated to one million dollars. The inspection of the plant found 78 units of armored vehicles completely destroyed. This was stated by the Deputy Prosecutor General Anatoly Matios. The machines which were conserved and in fact had to be ready to use turned out to be virtually destroyed.